Wow! Oh, wow! What did this company think it's doing? What did Rod think it was doing last night? Yeah, there were some positive things in there, but not more negatives than positives. Let's talk about... I'm just going to run through the whole show. Wow! Wow! Like, some people are saying that they didn't record Wall of I don't blame them. We start off good. John Miller and I did some Triple H backstage. They have a good promo going on. And then, um, they, John Lloyd-Itis, John Lloyd-Itis, I'm sorry, um, says that he didn't break up Lesnar's attack on Triple H because he didn't know he was going to attack him. Like, obviously, you could have broken it up. And then, um, Triple H says, I'm going to say everything out there. Good luck Sunday. Triple H got this segment pretty much saying how he's blocked Lesnar as a quitter, how everything got so hard, hard for, um, Lesnar, and, um, that he was embarrassed that, um, why did he say he was embarrassed? I don't know why he said he was embarrassed. But, um, he's saying that he pretty much quit. Then Paul Heyman comes out and, um, shows him a lawsuit for not giving him, like, this much money for not accepting the contract. And then, um, John Lennon, and then Paul Heyman walks backstage, and then Triple H, no, Triple H goes to grab his face. Actually, he did. They like, what are you doing? I actually laughed at this. And then Triple H walks away. And then um, Paul Heyman says he got two lawsuits coming. Next match. CM Punk and Santino Morales versus Cody Rhodes and Daniel Bryan. Wow! Good match, though. Well, there was a good match. But, um, Punk, Punk and Bryan, Punk and Santino win by Punk doing the go to sleep. But why was there no promo for CM Punk and Daniel Bryan? They haven't even built this match up at all. They've been, they built up the world, they've been building up the women's championship match more than this. Oh, it's a Divas championship match, but who cares? AJ's being built up more than this. The Divas champion, no, no, the, the WWE championship match isn't built up at all. This is probably one of the worst feuds of CM Punk since a the tag team match at Over the Limit last year, which I'll touch on later on this week. But what is WWE thinking with this match? Is this, just, is this because Brian doesn't have anybody to face? Because he could face, he could have faced The Miz, he could have faced r Kofi Kingston, Lord Tensai. Speaking of which, there was Lord Tensai. Wait, is he, is he fired? So, um, wow, 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 let's get on to the next thing, Big Show versus Kane, yeah, pretty good match, but the only thing is, um, I just found out I overwhelmed this Sunday, Kane is going to face Zack Ryder in the pre-show. This pre-show thing, I don't know. It's not working because Kane has to be on the pre-show. Kane's going absolutely nowhere. Kane was doing good this year, and now look where he went. He went downgraded. Now he has to. Now he's on the pre-show, like the United States Championship match was. Wow. So not yeah, big, that was a decent match. Kane, um, Big Show wins by a boss choke slam. Congratulations. Now, um, this Big Show promo next. Big Show gets fired. I like the promo, but like, it went on a little long. It should have, and um, it made Big Show kind of look like a, a baby. Yeah. Big Show what is Big Show I don't even know is Big Show going to play a role on Sunday will he not that's probably the only question is Big Show going to get me hide if you are on ice losers which I'll get to later on the show but that was pretty good um 
Next in. Portis Clay, Otsuth, and Kofi Kingston versus The Miz, Jack Swagger, and Dolph Ziggler. You see the match? And you see, I have three rants about this. Two rants, actually. One, the match came on at the one time after what happened with the Big Show. Even Jerry the Kim Lawler said, I can't even think about this right now. Like, who could after you just lost the Big Show? Let's see. And The Miz. What are they doing with Miz? I said I feel bad for The Miz. Now I extremely feel bad for this guy. I'm actually starting to like this guy now. Because he can't do anything now. He can barely even make it on Raw. Let me tell you something with Miz. You need to get him in a tag team. I would say it's Cody Rhodes, but Cody Rhodes is the IC champion. He's doing his own things. It wasn't for me. No, it wasn't for me. Alright, but anyways. Oh, hold on. I don't need that. And uh, let me tell you something else. If The Miz does not make it on the pay-per-view, it won't be that bad, but if The Miz doesn't make it on one pay-per-view this year, your company... Miz is in trouble. I don't, I don't blame Miz if he leaves like Morrison did. Like John Morrison went nowhere. What's going on with the Miz? He made him in WrestleMania and defeated John Cena. I know he had help, but he still did it. He would be, he cast in money. He's a former United States champion. Tag team champion. Like, if Miz does not make it on another paper, like if Miz he keeps getting treated like this, the Miz is going to be my hero if he still stays. Possibly. I don't know. It depends. But now we have CM Punk and Alex Fire that day, and this promo was pointless. Like, what are they doing? AJ, why are they trying to get AJ in the big title matches and she doesn't do anything? Like, they tried to do some extreme rules, but then she didn't do anything. What could have happened, like, this could have happened in extreme rules. Could have helped Sheamus win or could have helped Ryan win. Then we got Chris Jericho versus Randy Orton. That was a pretty decent match. So I gotta give credit to that. I just don't understand. Okay, yeah, it was decent. Decent. Jericho wins by DQ. Then they got the promo at the end. Now, you think it's gonna get good? You think it's going to be good? Can I tell you what I think is weird about this? I don't know if anyone noticed this. But John Cena came out like he was God. Yeah, he did. Let me explain to you why. He comes out, Oh, I'm okay. And he's in the slim last week saying he has to be possibly be in that slim for months. After he said that last week, he's like, Oh, I'm all of a sudden okay. I'm going to walk down that ramp and be okay. Yahoo! will be like I know it's fake but that's too fake and then um John Laurinaitis did say some stuff but like John Cena was too PG tonight we have the PG John Cena back I don't want the PG John Cena I want the John Cena that ranted about the loss I want the John Cena that ranted that CM Punk got fight I want the John Cena that was in that Brock Lesnar feud. I want John Cena. That's the John Cena. I don't like the PG John Cena. I don't like the PG company. If this company goes back to PG, I don't even know what I'm going to say. But uh, PG is probably the worst thing in this world right now. Because you can't do anything. Like, CM Punk went to him. I came in the head with a steel chair one time. And he couldn't do it. That's my law with you. Terrible law. Terrible law. I would rather, I, I actually, I should have just gone to bed. If I, if I knew that law was going to be that bad, I would have just gone to bed. So here's what's going to happen tomorrow. 
I'm gonna give my over limit review tomorrow. Thursday I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give my review on this DVD right here. And Friday's gonna be SmackDown review. Saturday's gonna be um over limit two thousand twelve predictions. But like Congratulations, why you totally were crap. Congratulations.